I know this sounds absurd, but I believe that there's some sort of energy attached to me. Something dark, something demonic, something evil, and it feeds off the people in my care. Welcome to Paranormal Night Shift. Your fan story is told here. Today's story comes from Lori, and she writes in, A long time ago, me and my sister played a game. It was a silly game that most kids play, but we played it nonetheless. My parents were very strong in their spiritual and religious beliefs. They would have never let us have a Ouija board. So instead, my sister and I went online and found out how to make one of our own. We were just kids. We were just playing a game, but we contacted something. All the rules that are involved with Ouija boards, we broke. We contacted things, we asked for it to show itself, we asked for it to attach itself to us, and then of course when we got scared, we burned it and destroyed it without ever closing the session. The older I got, the more I realized that there were some unexplained things that happened in my childhood. Things that just don't happen to normal kids. There's tragedies all throughout this world, but somehow, some way, everything just kept tying back to me. The people that I was associated with, the people that I was friends with, the tragedies in their, their life, their loss, their terminal illnesses, the loss of a parent, the loss of a dog, a loved one, anything like that, it was because I was around. And there was just so, so many of them now that I look back. After college, I took a job in a nursing home. I always wanted to help people, but it seems like whatever's attached to me does not. The other night, an elderly woman who we all assumed couldn't speak at all anymore was screaming in her bedroom. I ran down the hallway and opened the door and turned on the lights and I saw a black shadowy mask run out of her room. I tried to calm her down, but she knew what she had seen and she knew that I had seen it too. As I opened the door into the hallway, an older man who we assumed was bedridden and couldn't walk, stepped out into the hallway. The black mass exited his room as he said, did you see that too? And those were the last words he ever spoke. A man who hadn't walked in years, out in the hallway, collapsed. The old woman looked at me and said, you know that it was here for me. You let it out, and then it took him. I took a couple days off of work to try to explain it to myself. But the moment I came back to work, that night, the same thing. This black shadowy mask would go from room to room. So far it's claimed three people, but I can't help but think that I'm the one who brought it in.